Yeah. Gotta mention my favorite shirt. <laughs> you can go hang out over here for now, plant. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and it is time for March favorites. Um, I know I didn't do a favorites for February. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I know I also didn't finish out drugstore month. I don't know, like in the middle of the month, like towards, I don't know, the middle-ish of the month, I just kind of started feeling like, eh, about my videos. And I was like, that's so dumb. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I just was feeling kind of funny about it. I know I didn't even put up that many videos this month. I think I did four. Um, but I'm back. I'm feeling good. Want to share the favorites? Let's talk the favorites. So the first thing I loved, and this is something I loved in February as well, and they are press-on nails. Oh my goodness. I just have this pack here as a representative because this is the one I bought that I want to put on next. Um, I've never really been into these nails. It's never even occurred to me to try these out, but a lot of girls at my work wear them and I was stocking them the week of Valentine's Day and I put up these like Valentine's kind of ones and I thought, I'm gonna try those. And I really wish I had filmed the video because I wanted to do like an overhead video of me trying them out for the first time because it was so funny. And I just thought it was the funniest thing. I didn't recognize my hands. I was like, whose hands are these? I look like a grown woman. It was just so funny. And then I really loved them and I was wearing them back to back to back to back. Um, I'm kind of giving my nails a break now because I wasn't removing them the best way. I didn't know that there was a way to remove them. I was just like, well, it's time to take these off. And I was prying them off and my nails got jacked up. Like my thumb, I took a big chunk out of it, but I watched a video online and I found the best way for me to remove them is dish soap, so Dawn or whatever you use. Dish soap all over your nails, underneath, everywhere, and then soak your hands in probably like super warm, like as hot as you can stand, water. And then just kind of work it around, get under there. It does take a little bit, I would say 15, 20 minutes or so. Your fingers are gonna be very wrinkled, but the nails will come off easy. It won't damage your fingernails at all. Uh, and I've been removing them like that and I've been loving it. But I wanted to kind of give them a break, but these are the ones I wanna wear next. The ones I loved a lot were the, I, th I think it's Kiss. I mean, there's only like one brand that sells at the drugstore. So it has to be the Kiss brand. Um, they're called Bare But Better. They're kind of like clear nails, but with a little bit of tint to them. I really, really liked those. I've been really liking the ones that don't look so obvious, like super full color. Um, and I just really, really like them. I do like them a little on the longer side. These are the medium ones. I normally get the long ones. And I got used to them very quickly. At first I was like hitting stuff and I just couldn't get used to these long things. Um, but I got used to them very quickly with like just daily tasks and stuff, but they're getting in the way of my life. I like, I didn't even enjoy putting skincare on anymore because I like to use my fingertips for certain steps and I couldn't do that with the nails on. Same with makeup, like I like to put my concealer on with my finger and I couldn't do that and I didn't like the way it was coming out. So, you know, it's a give and a take. You get, you have the nails, but you can't do the concealer the way you want. But I love these. I really want to try, there's another brand called uh, something with a D or with an S. What are they called? No, they're called, um, hmm. I'm going to look it up. Static. They're called static nails. I have a couple of static nails nail polishes. I got in like Ipsy bags and they're so good. So I hope that the, the press on nails are really good. Let me know if you've tried them. But yeah, love the press on nails so, so much. I'm so glad I finally gave them a shot. They're really, really fun. Um, this is actually a face wash that I cannot believe is so amazing. This is from Botanics and it's a Simply Calm Cleansing milk. I actually bought this months ago. I feel like I've had this for six months at least just sitting sitting in the drawer waiting to be used um, and I didn't want to use it because it has cannabis sativa seed oil in it. I don't mind the ingredient. It's fine. The only thing I don't like about it is the scent. I do not like the way that any product that has that ingredient in it smells. Anything that says hemp on it as well. It just smells like an old fish tank or something. I just don't like the smell at all. Uh, but I used up my Pacifica Seafoam face wash. And I was like, don't buy it yet. Just use what you have. So I pulled this out expecting not to like it. I don't know why. I just thought it wasn't going to be that good. But it is 
the best. It's better than the Pacifica one. And I love that one. And this is better. It's the best makeup removing face wash I have ever, ever used, ever. It's so good. So it says it's a cleansing milk, but I don't think it's a milk. I think it's just a face wash because I was expecting it to be like a non-foaming cleanser that just gets milky when you add water, but it does get a little bit foamy. Um, it's really nice to use. It's a nice texture. It's not super slimy or anything. A little bit foamy. Wash it all over your face, on your eye area and everything. It will remove every single scrap of makeup. Normally after I wash my face, even with a, a face wash that I love that removes makeup, I still go in with a Q-tip with my cellar water and remove stuff that's underneath, you know, residual stuff. I haven't done that once with this face wash at all. Like even the eye makeup I have on today, I'll use this, it'll come off perfectly, mascara and everything. I can't believe how good this is and it doesn't stink. It doesn't stink like cannabis sativa seed oil. I look forward to using this every single day. I can't believe how good it is. If you're looking for like a one and done makeup removing face wash that's not going to strip your skin, but it is going to remove every scrap of makeup, try this out. I think it's so, 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 so good. It's wonderful. And I think it's, yeah, it's a cruelty free brand. I think this is a vegan product as well. Uh, it's just, it's a wonderful product. I'm so glad I gave it a chance and I wasn't expecting to like it. And it's better than Pacifica. And I love that one. That's been my like favorite makeup removing face wash for a long time. This just dethroned it. It's amazing. I can't believe how good it is. The next thing I have been loving, I talked about this in my empties video. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian A Boom Boom Cream. I have just a little mini guy here. Always, I always seem to have one of these little containers around. And I have liked this on and off over the years. I love the scent. It smells great, but it is very, very strong. Also, the moisturizer, it's luxurious. It feels so, so good on your skin. Um, mm, it just smells really good. I even bought the candle of this scent. I love it. My boyfriend always lights that candle, and I just like, dang, that candle smells so good. I love it. This is how much I have left in here. Um, a little of this goes a long way, so I feel like I usually have even this little one for a long time. Uh, and I've been loving it lately. Normally the scent is really strong, but lately it hasn't been strong at all. It doesn't give me a headache at all throughout the day. Normally I'm like dying to take a shower by the time I get home because the scent just gets so strong, like stronger and stronger throughout the day. But it hasn't been doing that lately. Every day I look forward to using this. And I'm just taking advantage right now because one day I'm going to put this on and it's going to give me a monster headache. So far it hasn't, so I've been wearing it every day. I have to smell it again. Mmm, it just smells so lovely. Super, super sweet, caramely, pistachio-y, you know, that kind of scent. Really lovely and I'm, I'm glad it's not giving me a headache right now. So I look forward to using that every day too. The last, I think this is the last like product I wanted to mention. I think it is. It's this. This is what I meant to mention in my February favorites. It's a sunscreen. Oh man, it's the best. It's from Neogen and it's the Daylight Protection Airy Sunscreen SPF 50. I bought this on SoCoGlam.com. I think I talked about, I think I did a video on my SoCoGlam haul and I mentioned this. I have been using this every single day since I got it. I'm so glad I didn't repurchase any other sunscreens that I really loved because this is the one, this is the best one. Let me tell you why. So for one, there's no white cast. I watched a video, someone had done a video on this sunscreen who had a darker complexion and they had no white cast whatsoever on their skin. So I know on my skin, like I'm super light, so even if I had a white cast, you might not be able to tell. But I promise you, there's no white cast whatsoever. It is a wonderful formula. It's not a moisturizing sunscreen, so I'm not able to use this as a moisturizer. And I love that because I'll put on my normal moisturizer and when I put this on, it's not like I'm adding another layer of moisturizer. It doesn't feel thick or heavy or anything. It just sinks in and then that's it. It does leave a little bit of something there. Like it's not one of those ones that dries down dry. You know those sunscreens that dry down dry and they feel like they left powdery chalk on your skin or something? This doesn't do that. It just feels like a wonderful cream, but it absorbs quickly. It's awesome. It has the lightest, faintest scent of sunscreen to it, but it's barely there. 
I can't smell it at all and I smell everything. Uh, I can't smell this on my skin at all. The scent disappears quickly and it's barely, barely there. Like you have to be looking for the scent. It's also SPF 50. I can't believe it. It's not thick, it's not heavy, it's not smelly, it's nothing. It, it It's just so good. If you have tried this, let me know. I know I'm not describing it the best, I just know that it's the best thing in the world. Makeup goes on really well on top of it. It's just fantastic. I love everything about it. It is avobenzone, homo salate. Is that a uh, chemical sunscreen. Chemical sunscreens tend to be my favorite personally, um, but I would love this sunscreen so much. It's just, it's everything I want and I, I can't, I can't get enough of it. The only downside, the only, only downside to this sunscreen is that it is expensive. I think it was $35. Um, I didn't realize how expensive it was until I went to look it up uh, a little while later. This is a 50 milliliters, 1.69 ounces. If you're only using it on your face, it's gonna last you for a little while. But if you wanna use this on your body because it's that good, you're gonna blow through this little guy. So I would say try to find something else for your body. Try to reserve this just for your face, especially because it is kind of expensive. But I've had this for a few months now and I haven't run out. I feel like it's maybe halfway and I'm very generous with it too. But I, I just love it so much. Um, and I, I think sometimes when especially with a sunscreen, if you find the one, the one that's gonna make you want to wear it all the time, that's gonna make you wanna wear sunscreen, in a way it's kind of worth the cost. Like I think this is totally worth the price for me because I want to wear it every single day. It doesn't interfere with the rest of my, my products, my makeup or anything, it's just the best sunscreen in the world and I have to shout it out, it's awesome. I think those are all the products I have to mention. Uh, just a couple other things. These necklaces. So these were actually sent to me by Ana Luisa, which was amazing. I couldn't believe that they reached out to me because I'm already a customer of theirs. Like these earrings that I've been wearing since November, they're from Ana Luisa. And I bought these with my own money during the Black Friday sale. I wear them every single day. I think they're fantastic. Uh, but they reached out to me and they sent me these two necklaces, this little one. I'll do a little close-ups here. Um, this little heart like pendant one that's so cute. And then this safety pin one that I wear every single day. Like I've been wearing this every single day. Was I out of focus the entire time? And the little safety pin one I wore for a month straight without taking it off. I wore it in the shower and everything and it's just such great quality and it's so cute and I've never, I used to be really into jewelry and necklaces and then one day I just stopped, I don't know why. And when they sent these, I was like, oh, necklaces, I, you know, I'll get used to them. And I love them, like I wanna wear them all the time. I They sent me these for free and I did a little video featuring them on my other channel. I have another channel where I talk about just house plants. If you're interested in house plants, I have a separate channel all about it. I'll link that in the description box in case you wanna check it out. Um, and that's where I kind of featured these necklaces. But I absolutely love them. I think they're just so darling. Wanna wear them every day, they're so nice. Um, and then I have this. Why did I buy this? Why did I buy the Squishmallows? So I work in retail, I work at Walgreens, and we get these in all the time. But one day I was stocking the cutest little Easter ones ever, and I had to have it. And I, when I got them home, I was like, why? Why did I buy that? What am I gonna do with this? It's just kind of sitting in the living room right now. But look how cute it is! It's just the cutest little chicken. He's got this little hair thing and his little wings, just so cute. Like I always want to bring another one home and I'm like, I don't have anywhere to put these and then I bring them home and I actually just end up regretting buying them. But in the moment, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen and they just put, Squishmallows know what they're doing with their products. Like they, they know their customers. People are gonna buy these forever probably. And they're just so cute. I'm not like a collector. I don't go like hunting them down or anything, but every now and then at work I see one and I'm like, I have to have that, he's so, so cute. I love him. I have one more thing to mention, and it's this, this shirt. I cannot stop wearing this shirt, and I was gonna wear it today because it's my favorite shirt, but I'm like, all my thumbnails are gonna have the same shirt because I wanna wear it all the time. It's a Christmas shirt, obviously, and it's an MTV logo with like a Christmas sweater design. I think this was a pajama shirt, I bought this, um, oh yeah, it's an extra large. This is an extra large, like it fits me perfectly. Maybe I'm an extra large, who knows. But I love this so much. I love the way that it fits. I love the color. 
I don't have another red shirt like this, so when I first put it on, I was like, I kind of like this red. So I bought it. I can't stop wearing it. I wear it all the time. I know it's spring. I don't care. Like, I freaking love this shirt. I just love it. I want to wear it every day. Had to give it another shout out. And then, oh, I had another product. I completely forgot. It was hidden behind my chicken squishmallow. It's this perfume. So this is the Chloe Eau de Parfum. And I don't normally wear perfume every single day because perfumes and scents just give me a headache. And every now and then I find one though that doesn't give me a headache and this one never has. And it's one of my favorite scents of all time. Ah, oh, it's just like the perfect feminine, fresh, floral, clean, not headachey, it's not heady. There's nothing wrong with this perfume. It's so good. When you spray it, it doesn't smell like alcohol. You don't need to like let it dry down before you get the real scent. You spray it and you know exactly what it smells like. I freaking love this and I've been spraying it every day all over my all of my clothes. The only thing I wish is that the scent lasted longer. Most of the time I'm perfectly fine with my perfume wearing off throughout the day because I don't really want it to last that long and give me a headache. But this one, I really wish the wear time was longer because uh, I don't smell it like even halfway through the day. I feel like I have to reapply constantly. Uh, but I don't, I don't mind that because it's just such a nice, fresh, feminine scent and I just love it. I love that it doesn't smell like perfume. It doesn't smell like alcohol or anything like that. It's just perfect. I love it so much. I know it's very tarnished, but actually a friend gave me this a couple of years ago. She said she found it under her sink and she had no idea how long it had been there or where it came from. And I was like, I love that scent. So she let me have it and I was very happy about it. So I never used it though because it's it's an expensive perfume, you know? Um, but lately I've just been like, just use it. One day it's gonna go bad and you're going to regret not having used that whole bottle. So I've been spraying it every single day and I love it so, so, so much. It's just my favorite part, the last part of my morning routine and I love it. I do have a plant to share. Like I said, I do have a second channel. Oh my God, look how cool this plant looks on, vi on a video. Uh, like I said, I do have a second channel where I just talk about house plants and I'll link down my, my channel in case you wanna check it out if you're interested in house plants. But this is the one I wanted to shout out this month because I guess I didn't realize how much it had grown. This is a Raphidophora tetris perma. Look how cool it is. And this plant hadn't really done anything since I had it, but I also had it on top of that shelf and it would get annihilated by the heater. Every single day it was just, I would see it going like this with the heat. So I moved it over here. It actually is, lives right here on top of this shelf and it gets really nice light all day. It's, this is a west facing window. So it gets a lot of nice afternoon light and it just started growing like crazy. I really like this plant because it grows in just one long vine. So what I see people a lot of the time do is uh, put this down on the ground or on a shelf and they let it just kind of trail up the wall in one big vine. I like that idea, but I also like the idea of kind of cutting it here, rooting it in some water and then planting it back into the planter and having like a big long crazy plant. I don't know, let me know what you think I should do with this. but. I didn't realize it had grown so much. It grew all these little leaves here at the top. It recently put out this one, this one, this one, this one. So I just, I just love it. It's just so cool. And right now it's sitting up there and it's gonna, I'm just gonna let it trail up the wall and we'll see what I end up doing with it. But I had to shout him out just cause look at him. He's so cool. But that is it. Those are my favorites. Let's just put him right here for effect. Those are my favorite things for March, a couple from February. Uh, let me know what some of your favorites were this past month or so. I would love to know your current favorites. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another video. Oh, goodbye.